Good morning, class. Today, we're going to make a techno song. Now, typically, techno music ranges from 120 BPM to about 140 BPM, and typically employs the use of, quote, four to the floor kick drum patterns, also known as basically what I could only surmise as a funky metronome. You're going to start by opening up a drum machine with a 16 pattern step sequencer. Create a kit with simply a kick drum, snare, and hi-hat. Program the kick drum to 1, 5, 9, and 13. This is basically a metronome, albeit in a kick drum form. Next, program your clap and or snare to 5 and 13. Then, program your hi-hats to 3, 7, 11, and 15. This will result in the typical boots and cats pattern. Yes, if you're wondering, through your various other music appreciation classes within your undergraduate program, you might be surprised to discover that techno and house have stylistically evolved from Italo disco in the late 1970s and early 1980s. One might be able to say that techno is simply electronic disco with synthesizers. Now that you have your drums, you are free to either separate all of your drum units or keep them cohesive. I recommend if you're going to keep them cohesive in one single unit to cut off frequencies at the top and bottom ends and then glue it together with a glue compressor, perhaps a VCA or even a FET. If you're going to use a FET, I would recommend a 2.1 or 4.1 ratio with fast attack and fast release. Next, you're going to want to use a bass. Bass guitar, synthesizer bass, sub bass, that really all depends on you. All you need to know is that since your kick drum is basically a metronome, you might want to have your bass gallop and be on every other offbeat. Galloping is more of a mid-1990s European style, whereas if your bass is heavy in certain frequencies, it might be smart to have it play on the offbeat so that it doesn't compete with the kick drum. It should be noted that typical house music employs the use of a Roland TR-909 invented in the early 1980s. Let's not beat around the bush. Just because something is a trope in a genre doesn't mean you have to use it. But that being said, there is a reason why the Roland TR-909 is still employed within house music. You are free to use whatever drums you please, just as you are free to use whatever bass you please. Next, for this assignment, I require synthesizer chords. You may use pads, anything as long as it's synthesized. Bonus points, the cheesier the better. Now it should be noted that a chord is at least three notes, and if you would like to do more, you are free to do so. Expert level tip, make a seventh chord and delete the root note. So let's recap. Four to the floor kick drum, bass, any kind, and a synthesizer chord. Now, if you want extra credit and you're feeling frisky, a synthesizer melody. Extra credit to people who record vocals. Doesn't matter how bad they are, as long as you record those vocals, you will get 10 extra points. Or perhaps a higher grade on an assignment or and or test and or midterm that you didn't do so well on. So there are three to five steps. Don't worry about the mixing quality. Don't worry about a B section. You can do a B section if you want. I simply need a 30 second basic techno song. For this assignment, I just need to see that you can actually make a techno song. Arranging and engineering comes later. It's a very basic assignment. Drums, synthesizer, maybe some melody and maybe some vocals. It really all depends. Some of you have been doing this for years and some of you are just taking baby steps. The project complexity is completely up to you. Well, that about does it. The assignment is due at the end of the week at midnight. Get to work, class. Bye.